The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the lost the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be Jesus and Mary. In today's Gospel, the lost sheep and the lost coin are symbolic of the lost soul. That is, the soul that is in the state of mortal sin, and it is lost. And if it dies in that state, it will be eternally lost. And what do we mean? We mean separated from God. And so we see Jesus, has, who is the Savior of the world, has the heart of the Savior. This is how diligently and earnestly he seeks after souls who are lost, souls who are separated from God, souls who are in the state of mortal sin. He seeks them out with great love and great earnestness to bring them to repentance, to bring them to faith in himself, to bring them to obedience to his commandments, to bring them to salvation and to eternal life. <clears throat> and so our Lord, by means of his grace, his goodness, and his love, when he works the conversion of a sinner, there is great rejoicing in heaven among the saints and among the angels because we are a supernatural family. We should be concerned about one another's good, especially their spiritual good. And so, souls who are united to God and who are in the state of grace, those who call themselves Christians and followers of Christ, should also have a heart and a soul similar to that of the Savior. That is, they should be eager and zealous and diligent in trying to save souls and doing whatever they can by their prayers, by their sacrifices, by their good example, by their words by giving out miraculous medals and these type of things. And so let's do what we can to work with our Lord for the salvation of souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.